Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. Good morning, well, good afternoon I should say. It's like one o'clock, 12.30, 12.45, and it's Monday, and the weather is so beautiful right now. So I've come to sit outside. I'm on my lunch break from work currently. I've got another 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna do some editing, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but all my vlogs have been going up like an entire week late. So I'm trying to catch up and just like, figure some stuff out. I have like two book videos I need to do as well very shortly but whatever. Welcome. Welcome back if you are new. Hi my name is Kirsty. I am 27 officially. I feel like did I vlog last week and say I was 26? Maybe. I don't know. I just had my 27th birthday last like a couple weeks ago and I live in Adelaide with my gorgeous little family. I have a lovely husband Hayden, two gorgeous little girls. I have a two-year-old Harper and a seven and a half month old Marley. I work as a travel agent part-time and I just vlog my life. So welcome if you are new. You're here for a wild time because life has been a little bit hectic lately. I have things in the works that I need to update you guys on but I can't yet so that's annoying but that's that's to come but if you've been following me for a long time I used to come and sit out in the garden all the time and do like some of my chatty portions of my vlogs but the weather has been so bad the last few months that I just haven't and so I'm out here today and I'm so happy because the weather is so stunning Marley is sleeping right now um, she's been sick so she yeah is having a nap right now and I'm just out in the sunshine for my lunch break because the weather is just so sunny I can't get enough of it so yeah I don't know what I was gonna say other than starting the vlog and saying hello but I don't have too much on this week I feel like it'll be a bit more of a quiet week like the last two weeks I obviously had like my birthday city to bay photo shoot week and then I had last week that was again a little bit hectic and then <laughs> we decided to like renovate the little living space and we finished the cubby house and all those sorts of things this week I don't really have any plans I don't think like nothing crazy vlog worthy we have my dad's 60th this weekend so that'll be really nice it's mum's birthday too their birthdays are a day apart but he's having a big party for his 60th so that'll be really cool it's a long weekend this weekend coming up here in Adelaide for the Queen's birthday King's birthday no Labor Day I don't know a public holiday for whatever reason so that'll be really nice and I'm gonna try and get some running in if you are new and don't know what my content is I do a lot of I do weekly vlogs every week. I upload book content whenever I can and I'm also training to be a runner. <laughs> I recently completed my first 12k like fun run, fundraising run. Um, I raised some money for mental health which was awesome. That was the Adelaide City to Bay. That was stunning. And now I am training for a half marathon. So that's wild. I'm like a little bit nervous to say I'm officially training for it because I'm worried that I won't get there in time. It's in December down in Victor Harbour and yeah it's just like not that long away but I'm going to I've started a run program so that's great but I last week I couldn't do all of the runs so I'm a bit stressed about it already because I need to fit in three runs a week and it's just not always um, achievable to be completely honest to fit in three runs a week when you've got two small children working around a husband that works full-time I'm currently working um, like it's just really tricky so I'm gonna try and go for a run tonight if not I'll go for a run tomorrow morning but I should have gone this morning, but I got like four and a half hours sleep because Marley was up all night. So that's another factor. If I was getting just like a standard eight hour sleep, maybe I'd be able to get in and just do my runs first thing in the morning. But that's not always the case. And I'm so tired. I'm probably going to have a third coffee shortly. So yeah, it's a bit tricky. So I'm a bit nervous to say that I'm like officially training for a half marathon, but I am following a run program that is meant to get you to half marathon so fingers crossed we'll see how we go I guess I don't want to put too much pressure on it but I would love to run the half marathon in December I also have my gyms like um, end of year dial in coming up which is like a, like a challenge but they don't like to call it a challenge because it's more just like training blocks so I will be I've had a couple months off tracking my calories but I've been doing really well at just like staying in a little bit of a deficit I'm losing like 250 to 500 grams a week which is like just what I wanted at the moment just like a really slow steady weight loss like fat loss I guess and then um, yeah I'll hit it hard for eight weeks as of the 14th of October and that will work in quite well with my like um, half marathon training too because it'll get me I think the dialing end of like the end of dialing is the week after the half marathon so it should work out well I should drop some fat gain some extra fitness you know it should all just work hand in hand hopefully 
but we'll see. But now that I've just been talking forever, I only now have eight minutes left of my break. So I'm going to do some editing and I will talk to you guys later. It's Tuesday, which means it is grocery day. It's really random actually that we do our groceries on a Tuesday, but it's just the way I can get paid on Monday. And so Tuesday, our money goes from like our offset into our joint spending for the week. And then I grocery shop once our weekly spending's in. So Tuesday is like kind of a random day for it to be, but that's what it is. So here's, I've spent $170 and I feel like I've got heaps, which is awesome. Three products of strawberries. We've been going crazy in the strawberry department at the moment. So then I got, I'm a bit annoyed because I think this is not gonna work for what I wanted it to. Basically I had ordered like a skim, like um, what's it called? I don't know, like a low fat ice cream, but they didn't have it. So I've got a full, full cream ice cream, which it's like fine, but I, for the goals that I have, I wanted to have like lower calorie, but whatever. A bunch of apples again, extra lean beef mints. I've been trying to go for the extra lean at the moment, even though it's a little bit more expensive, it's gonna work more towards my goals. I got some tomatoes. I got some little mini snack Biscoff like biscuits because I'm going to make a couple of like recipes later in the week. Two little bags of Spud Light. I ordered a big one, but then they didn't have it. So this was our replacement, which is fine. But that is going to be with the mints. Eight million oat milks, Colgate, Optic White. And then got some Fiber One bars, which I'm not usually like a, I'm not usually into this sort of thing. But my friend, if you don't follow Fit with Brit, she is one of my friends and she just released an ebook and she has all these like low calorie, high protein meals and things. And she put these with her protein yogurt and it was in like high protein with like little brownie bites in it. And oh yeah, so that was from her, from her ebook. She had that. Um, and so I figured I would try it. So I got some of them. Very rogue. More wheat bix because Harper loves it. We go through so much. Bananas. Passata because I always like having passata in the house. Two packets of protein pancakes because Harper and I on our days off together. I like to do pancakes. Protein pasta. A lot of my food shopping actually has become like habitual now, which is really cool. Like I just sort of pick up the same things. Spinach and herb wraps for Hayden. Samson wraps for me. I ordered the small ones, but they didn't have them. So I got the big ones instead. So I got half of this drink bottle. Some eggies. We have eggs like most days. Gosh, I have so much. More apples. Snitzels because I'm having my parents, well, we're supposed to be having my parents over for dinner tonight. I'm gonna have to call them because I currently have COVID. So probably won't be able to, which is why I do click and collect. I didn't need to talk to anyone. And then got some avocados. We always get avocados. Corn kernels to go with like the mints and the taco stuff because I'm gonna do like mints on potatoes, if that makes sense. Like I'm gonna do like loaded potatoes. That's the word. I got Biscoff spread because again, to go with some of my little like low cal dessert options. Light sour cream to go with like the Mexican loaded potato situation. And onions. And of course, my GoPro. I'm gonna make a coffee because I haven't been able to have my coffee this morning because when I went to make it, I had no milk. So that was sad. So I'm gonna make my coffee now, then I'll be getting to work. It's pretty early in the day still, so I'm, I felt very productive. But yeah, Marley has COVID, I have COVID. Hayden had COVID last week, so yeah. We're just um, trying to stay away from people sort of as much as we can. Obviously there's no rules and stuff anymore, so like there's no, nothing specific to do, but I'm working from home luckily helps. So I've just been staying at home. I only tested positive yesterday, so I'll just spend the next few days at home. We won't go to the gym or anything tomorrow with the girl. Um, and I'll just sort of, yeah, isolate a little bit and just not really see anyone for a few days. So, love that for me. It's so fun. Also, a side note, I built this, well, <laughs> I didn't build it. Hayden built this new storage unit. We still need to get another one of these along here. But it was dark when we were doing it all, like it was nighttime. And so I just want to show you guys a little bit better in the daytime because look how cute it looks. Obviously, it's like not finished. We have to add things and, you know. And I'm, I still need to get one of us is lying. So that is like not great. And also, oh, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos the other week, but I ordered the Inheritance Games books and I specifically ordered the like American copy and I am obsessed with the covers. I think they're so cool. But for some reason I got like the Inheritance Games and the Final Gambit, perfect. And then they sent me like this, the Australian copy of the Hawthorne Legacy. So that's annoying. And also like I, the first one of these and the last one of these are on my TBR shelf. So, and I also need to get the rest of the Addicted series. But none of these seem to match, which is just really annoying. Even Ricochet doesn't quite, like, it, 
the addicted to is like a different color to these and then that's a different size and like format a different whatever hate that but it's fine um but yeah i added like this little picture and hayden added that and then we've got our wedding wine and like those bits and then yeah just some of my books i don't have all of my books here like a lot of them are still on the other shelf i haven't figured it out yet um but i'm really liking the way it's looking it's really cute that's like my one little <laughs> fantasy area there is another book i want to get oh it's gonna annoy me i can't remember and then these are just like my big books so these are all books that are like not the australian published size like the you know what i mean if you haven't read bright side yet please do it this is one of my all-time favorite books it is fantastic so just a little shout out there for bright side this isn't really random because i also have like two memoirs and then novels so not great this will all change like a lot because i feel like my book area is just gonna grow so i don't know this will change a lot and then also yeah the other shelf will go there still we're gonna get a lamp to go here but i just feel like it looks so much nicer in this area compared to how it did before when it was all just kids stuff like so much better it fits the space so well and yeah i'm just really happy with it it's wednesday which means it's pancake day i feel like i have this like new little tradition with Harper on her days off that we do pancakes. I just use the greens like protein pancakes because then I know that we're getting a little bit extra protein. And then she has a drink with like her little vitamins and stuff in it as well. We have strawberries Milo, and sugar-free maple syrup. Milo? Milo? What? Not now. You, you have a little Milo before bed sometimes, don't you? I wanted to go for a run this morning, but I'm still a little bit COVID-y. I also wanted to go to the gym today, but I just like obviously don't want to go visit people whilst I have COVID. It's not very fair. Um, Vic is obviously like COVID isn't really a thing anymore, but like obviously like is still around. Like I know heaps of people that have it right now. And like when there's no rules, it's like I've just got to choose what to do. So I'm just being really careful and mindful and just like not going near people really. But then I'm like, I really wish I was going to the gym today with my best friends. But that's fine. It is what it is. I don't know if by now you guys will know the tea. <laughs> Maybe next week's vlog you'll know what's going on. Pancakes have been eaten, devoured I should say. I have pancakes. a coffee. We had, pancakes. Pancakes. we had yummy pancakes didn't we? I have got all of this new postpartum like hair growth coming through. So that's really cute. And Harper is doing oh, a little activity. Making a little koala. Um, like a sun catcher from Kaisercraft, which Kaisercraft, Kaisercraft, however you say it, which she got this for her birthday and today it's felt like the right day to do it. Would you like another colour? Yeah. This one? Yeah, which colour would you like? Yeah. This one? You want to do it? Yeah. Here you go. Good job. Well done. I'm trying really hard to learn to let go of control and do you want me to like let her learn no. and it's okay to make a mess. It's quite challenging sometimes. <laughs> But she's actually quite good. Marley's still asleep. We were up heaps in the night. Well done. We were up heaps in the night, so she is like now sleeping in a little bit, which is fine. I did not get to go to my run this morning, but Hayden's really sore in the gym, so I'll go tonight, which is actually kind of good because I'll be fueled. I feel like I'm not very good at running on an empty stomach, so having to run really early, I don't really want to have to put food in my mouth before I run, if that makes sense. But I've got a 30 minute run today, so, and that will officially be. Yeah, which would you like to open a different one? The orange one? Um, yeah, so it'll be officially week one, day one of half marathon training. So, yeah. I've become a sensory mum. I've gotten out. Um, My play? Mummy will play in a moment, yeah. <laughs> Literally just some water and some cups for Harper to play with <laughs> to be entertained because I don't want to go anywhere and get anyone else sick I'm just you know we're just staying at home which is unlike us usually we're going out and about and running errands and going to the gym and doing things but the weather's suddenly warmed up heaps so I'm stoked so she can just do water play which is amazing so she's having some water play I think I'm gonna read my book and like update my goodreads and do a little bit of work I have a couple of things I need to like reply to so yeah we're just gonna be here until she needs a nap and then when she's having her nap i'll be able to really knuckle down and get some stuff done Whoa. mummy did drop her phone but yeah the weather this morning was disgusting and now it's beautiful so we're going to embrace it and be outside as much as we can today which is stuff i bought some more active wear <laughs> i actually can't stop at the moment 
I am quite literally obsessed with Muscle Republic currently and they had their sale in over the weekend. So I bought some goodies and I thought I'd share them with you because obviously I am coming up to a time where I will be finishing breastfeeding kind of soon, like in, I don't know, four months or so. So I've gotten a couple of sports bras because for the past, you know, two years, I've basically lived in either this one which is from Gymshark, or I've lived in my maternity bra by Lorna Jane, and they've both been great. This is good because I can like put it to the side as well as much as I can like a maternity bra. So if anyone's looking for like maternity bras that aren't maternity bras, this is super, super breastfeeding friendly, and I really like it. But I bought two to try, but I've got this white one. Sammy bought it, and so I was like, I want that too. This is the Structure 3 bra, and then I also got this one, and it's ribbed. I think this will be stunning for like when I'm just wearing a bra, like just wearing a crop top, if that makes sense. And this is the Movement 2 sports bra. So I'm going to try both of these on. I think I just accidentally flashed a neighbor. That's stunning. As expected, I was. I got them um, smaller than what I kind of expected to be wearing because when I finish breastfeeding, uh, my breasts will shrink a little bit. So a little bit tight for the moment. The back's so cute. Love that. So this is a size small. I feel like you can see a bit too much here, like the padding or my boob, I'm not sure. And oh, it's like the padding. I don't know, but of a weird padding situation, I might just take the padding out. What do you think? I love the back. But feeling confused with the padding and my, I don't know. Okay, I probably just should have gotten a bigger size in this, but I do think my boobs will shrink like pretty soon after I finish breastfeeding or well, as I get to the end of breastfeeding like I think with Harper whilst I was breastfeeding still they started to reduce so hopefully that will happen if not I'll just swap this for a bigger size maybe let's try the brown one there's like construction happening across the road and I literally think I just flashed them again that is so cute is that cute or am I delusional I think that looks cute oh I love that imagine when I'm like a bit stronger see my muscles better Wow, I love that. I think that's really cute. Gosh, I just have giant boobs at the moment. Hang on, I'm gonna have a look at this in the mirror. In my room as well. Again, I'll probably take the padding out of this, but I really like it. Very cute, love the back. Very good for strength days, I think. Okay, then I got two tops. One I'm very excited for. This is the ruched tank in off-white. Never had a ruched, like, active wear top before. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna charge my camera because it'll probably just die otherwise any second, and I'll come back and finish this later. I have two more things to show you still. Okay, I've strained my hair since I last talked to you. But this is then the next top, a black one. I actually can't remember what it was called. I have to double check my order because I've just thrown the tags out. I can't remember, but I really like it. I really like the shape here. I think it's really flattering. And I really love the back and I love that this, like that sports bra that I have on works well with it too like i can wear the sports bra with this top and they like match nicely and then oh i think i'm gonna need a move you maybe these shorts are so cute the only thing that's not good about them is there's no pockets but these are the live shorts and i am actually obsessed i feel like this is the best a pair of shorts have ever looked on me ever and like they're quite a, they're a bit of a shorter length than a few of the ones I've got recently, which I actually like because I'm quite short as a person. I'm only like 158 centimeters or something. Like I'm, I'm a short gal. And so, hang on, let me see if this will be a better angle for my short swearing. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm like very short. Like when people meet me in real life, they always like, oh my God, you're so little. And like, yeah, I'm a short gal. And so sometimes the shorts that are like longer just make me look even shorter and like just really stocky. So yeah, I love these. They're like a really good like mid-thigh length for me. And I just think they look good. Like I feel like my bum looks good. I feel like my bum pouch is like looking okay in them. I'm feeling, I'm like, oh, I'm getting puffed out. What the heck? I feel like I go really back and forth with how I feel about my body postpartum. And like, I love my body always. And I'm so proud of myself and I'm so, you know, balanced and blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, whatever. I don't need to do like a full body image chat right now but when I then buy clothes obviously then I'm like looking at my body a lot more intensely and I just am really proud of where I'm at right now I'm really excited for in a few weeks to hit some nutrition like goals like I'm going to be tracking again and yeah that's all to come but I'm very excited I think Marley has just woken up but yeah I'm just feeling good 
I'm having a really good week and yeah, the weather's stunning. Uh, the, the last bookshelf arrived yesterday and Hayden put it up last night when he had the girls. Like when I was running, he did that. So that's the, these are called the Coda shelves, like C-O-D-A. And we got a, the 10, the 6, the 6 and the 4 and then have put them all together. So obviously we still need to fill it up, but we don't want to like rush filling it just to fill it. But I'm really happy with it. It looks so cute and such a nicer use of our space. I am going to do some editing now. I have, I've like consistently been a week behind on my vlogs for like a month now. So I'm going to try and catch up. Oh my gosh, Harper's just woken up too. Okay, both girls are just woken up within like 10 minutes of each other. So that's fun. Within like two seconds of each other, I mean. But that's okay. We'll just go and play outside and have a good time. The weather's so stunning that we can literally just spend all afternoon out in the garden. So I love that for us. And maybe we'll go to the playground. I have like really embarrassing news. I'm pretty sure I have conjunctivitis. So I'm at the chemist to like look. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. Maybe. My eyes are like in the last like two hours have just gone so intense. And I just am like kind of dying. Like it happens so quick. So I'm just going to my chemist to get some coursey drips, drops, whatever for my eyes. And I'm going to get Hayden to put it in for me because I am a wuss and will not be able to do that myself. So that's a fun update for a Thursday night. Can you put it in my eye, please? Hayden checking himself out whilst I can barely open my eye. Look how bad it's gotten. Yeah. Kind of looks like an allergic reaction. <laughs> yeah, you look very good, my love. I need four drops, please. Oh, doggy needs registering. It's more expensive now. That's okay. I'm scared. My eyes are starting to hurt now. <laughs> well, I've got, I'm prepped for us. Four drops, please. I'm scared. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, she brought it out of a fridge. I'm scared. Which eye? I'll let you guess which eye. The one. You gotta keep your eye open. What? Ready? Um, <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. I can barely keep my eye open anyway. Pinch open with your fingers. <laughs> it's taking so long. It's getting more watery as I wait. Ah. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> I bet you don't. I fucking hate eye drops. Oh, gosh, that's so horrible. Oh, your other eyes go gooey uh, now, too. Okay. Keep going, I guess. I need to have four drops. That was one. <laughs> it's seven to go total. Don't move. Oh, Do do the other eye more? Yeah. Open the eye more. That's, a, That's your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get comfortable. Can I lie on you better? I'd rather you not. You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, it's making my eyes water. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, goodness. Oh. Close, open, close, wash it. Yeah, I'm moving my ball around. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that has got goo. Oh. <laughs> I can like see it coming towards me. Oh god, ew, it's in my ear. Done. Okay, thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. I've got to somehow do that myself four times. Like, four t four drops four times a day, she said. Oh, it's all washed gear out of my eyes. Mm. That's disgusting. How's that for you Thursday night after having COVID? Uh, and I meant to go for a run in the morning. I won't even be able to see. I wanted to film sit down yeah. videos today. And this is what my eye is looking like. We're not thriving, people. We are not thriving. Good morning, friends. Does it look as bad from this far away? Like, would I be able to film sit down videos if I'm far enough away from the camera yeah. today? It looks pretty bad. It actually makes it look like I'm stoned because my eyes are so bloodshot, but what are you gonna do? Good morning. It's Friday. I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. So I just dropped Harper off at childcare. Marley and I are gonna go into a cafe. Am I allowed to do that with conjunctivitis? Surely if I'm not 
touching my eye and then touching people, right? I think it's fine. Maybe I'll Google it. Um, we are going to have a coffee and I'm going to get some work done. I actually have a lot of work to do. Oh my god, now I'm worried that I shouldn't be here. Maybe I'll just go home. If you have conjunctivitis but do not have a fever or other symptoms, you may be allowed to remain at work. Also, eyes are red and feel gritty. The conjunctivitis is usually contagious. Okay, I should go home because I have discharge still. Damn, I'm going to sit in the cafe and work this morning. But I also don't want to risk it. Like, I'm not going to be that person. I've just spent, like, all week at home with COVID. <sighs> dad, 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 really? My goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to go home and make my coffee at home, I guess, and make some brekkie for me and Marley. I've got some work on my laptop to do, like, my own work. I've got some editing to do, and I've got some stuff to do with a thing that you guys will all know, like, next week. And then I start actual my paid work for my travel consultancy job at nine. So I have an hour until I start my real job. Real job? I don't like saying that like, because I now earn a little bit from social media, I feel like it is technically classified as a real job. And also this other thing I'm doing is a job because I'm earning money from it. So do I currently have three jobs? Maybe. Either way, I have some stuff to do on my laptop before I start work for my corporate employed job, I guess I should say. Like the job that has employed me. So yeah, I guess we'll go home. I guess I'll save a bit of money by not having my coffee out. Maybe I'll make an iced latte. Maybe we'll work outside. That'll be nice at least. And then a standard day. I have my dad's 60th birthday this weekend, so that's fun. But other than that, I don't really have much on. Like tomorrow, I don't think we're doing much. I have to go for a run tonight. I think all of my run content is gonna be like in a different video. I'm not really sure how that's working yet. I'm doing a lot of filming, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a whole separate video on my running journey or if I'm going to put it in my weekly vlogs. I don't know, maybe I'll ask you guys on Instagram and see what everyone thinks what they would prefer. Okay, I'm over here looking on the bright side. I'm gonna have protein pancakes for breakfast, which is actually probably exactly what I need. Instead of me having food out, which I can't, like I would have no idea of the nutritional value. I'm gonna make an iced latte at home and it's gonna be sweet, saving money. I can work whilst Marley plays instead of her sitting in the pram. I'm trying to convince myself that being at home is a much nicer option than being out for breakfast right now. It's fine. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, uh, I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. Wow, I keep thinking maybe my eye's not that bad and then I can look in the viewfinder and it literally looks like I've been stung by a bee on this eye. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna get some work done. Maybe I'll go and sit near Marley. Like I'll sit on the floor and work and eat. I shouldn't eat on the floor. I'll eat, then I'll sit on the floor. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> using the mess behind me but what do we think of my little outfit <laughs> I'm trying really hard to do like not just active wear 24 7 because I don't know all I wear is active wear which is fine like and I have obviously a nice little active wear collection that I really like and sometimes I feel like things aren't appropriate for me to wear like as a mum but like I feel really cute in this and Hayden said I looked really cute in it and he was cheering me on and I've got like a few items here that I've had literally forever. This Princess Polly dress I've had, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you when I got it, but I've never ever been able to fit into it because I've been pregnant and breastfeeding them pregnant like for the past few summers. So I'm excited to finally like wear that this summer hopefully. But this top is from Target very recently, so it would definitely be available at the moment because I got it for my birthday from my mother and then this skirt is wrangler but it's so old i've had it for years and then these shoes are also target i got them for christmas last year so i kind of wish my legs were tanned but yeah i'm like i love how this looks and i feel so cute in it but at the same time i'm like it's not very appropriate for toddler because like when harper wakes up i'm like not gonna be able to chase her around very well but my brother and his wife are coming over with their two boys and the kids are gonna play in the garden i 
spoke to you today? I don't think so. I went to the gym this morning and then after the gym, came home and just like we've hung out here all day basically. Hayden was meant to be going out, but unfortunately his plans have been cancelled. So he's going to be home. He's just gone to the bottle quickly to grab some beer because we don't have any in the house, which is really random. Um, but yeah, just so we've like got some alcohol in the house. Like we like to always be stocked up in case people popping around and stuff. I'm a water kind of gal myself generally, but it is always nice to know that if people are coming over, we can offer them beers and stuff. And there's a good deal on Coronas. So he's going to pick up some beer. And then, yeah, my brother and his wife and their kids will be over really shortly. We've just been hanging at home in the garden. Both the girls are currently sleeping, which is stunning. Will only last like 10 more minutes because Harper's going to get up in a minute. But it's been lovely whilst it's lasted. Tomorrow is my dad's 60th birthday party. So we'll be at mum and dad's tomorrow, like all day and all night. Oh, I'm getting distracted by my books because they're going funny. Now I'm doubt doubting how I'm having my book stacked because like you can see here because this has been I've had out on a limb sitting like here and so it's made the book bend. <sighs> Interesting. Sorry, I've just like distracted in the middle of a conversation, but now I feel like I need to sort that quickly. But yeah, then dad's 60th and then it's a new week, so well then it's it's a long weekend, so then it's a public holiday Monday, which will be stunning. So yeah, the house is like reasonably tidy, which we love for a Saturday. And we've had a, just a really chill day. Like other than me going to the gym this morning, I, well, I think I went out of focus. Other than me going to the gym this morning, today has just been really, really chill, really slow. We've literally just like hung out in the garden and hung out in the house and had some brekkie, like played in the garden, had some lunch, you know, just chilled. So my eyes looking a lot better. I need to do another lot of drops in a minute. As you can see, not as chaotic as it was a couple of days ago. So we love that. My skin also is just looking like quite good at the moment. I have obviously no makeup on right now and not feeling too bad. So we love that. Okay, I'm just like rambling for no reason. Okay, it is Saturday night at like 8 p.m. And the clocks go back tonight. So I'm pretty sure that means we're losing an hour if I'm correct. I get a bit confused with daylight saving, but daylight saving starts tomorrow and I want to go for a run in the morning. I have my third run of the week and I need to get it done, which is then also my fourth workout of the week, maybe my fifth. I can't even remember anymore. I'm losing track. I did a run on Wednesday. I went to the gym. Did I go to the gym on Wednesday? No, I didn't. I did my run on Wednesday, went to the gym on Thursday, did a run yesterday, went to the gym this morning. That'll be five. And I'm a little bit fatigued, so I'm a little bit nervous for my run tomorrow because it's my long run. I feel like maybe I should have not done strength today, but it was a really good strength session, so whatever. But yeah, I'm just watching Harper go to sleep. Hayden is out. It was grand final day today, and I could not care less about football grand final. Like, I'm not an AFL girly, to be completely honest. It's not something I keep track on. If Port were in, maybe I would watch, but I'm just, like, not that into AFL. And so he's out with some friends. They watched like the end of the game and he's out just having some beers with the boys so I love that for him both the girls are in bed he like stayed with me and helped with dinner and like bedtime routine first and then he went so I love that and yeah I was like well I'm just gonna get an early night then I've had a little Milo I'm like so tired I've just been doing a little bit of work on my laptop I know they say not to like work where you sleep but I just wanted to get into bed and then I had a couple work things to do so I was like well I might as well just Get on my laptop and get things going. Um, I, yeah, we'll have my long run tomorrow. I'm aiming for 12K, which will be the first time I've done a long run since my 12K. So I'm a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, why can I not get back onto my iMovie? I'm like half vlogging and half doing something else. Um, I'm currently reading The Right Move and I am like swooning and like smiling and giggling and I am just loving this. I haven't read many five star books lately. I've read a lot of four stars, 4.5 stars, books that I've really enjoyed but not been like obsessed with and I feel like this could be a five star. I really liked the first one, um, Mile High, but I think I like this one better. A lot better actually. I do like this one better. I don't know why I'm pretending that there's... One that I might like more than the other. I'm enjoying this one a lot more. But I'm also loving that we have the characters from the first one in this one a lot. But it's, yeah, The Right Move by Liz Tomford. And I'm just loving it. I'm supposed to be before bed um, picking up a physical book. And I'm reading Things We Left Behind. And I'm also enjoying this, but I'm only 
what am I, not fast through at all, 35 pages in. So I've barely even started this. And I am enjoying this too. I do struggle a little bit with enemies to lovers in like a contemporary romance. So like the fact that they kind of hate each other is frustrating, especially because it's like, well, we're not going to fall in love. But I am very intrigued to see like what happened with Lucian and Lucian, Lucian, however you say his name. I'm very intrigued to see Lucian and Sloane's story and to see like how they're like why they end up why they hate each other I guess so I'm very intrigued but I'm not as invested as I am with this so I'm going to keep reading this both these books are also very large books for romance like I think this is I don't even know this is 581 pages which is a lot for romance and I think this is also just like kind of long like I'm only 132 pages through 417 so two very large romance books that I'm reading when usually I read like 300 page romances. So that's fun, but I'm loving this. So happy to have lots of pages. But yeah, I'm going to close my laptop. I'm going to read and go to bed and hope that Marley sleeps tonight because we've not been getting much sleep the last few nights. I you could probably tell. I'm like yawning by 8pm. But Harper is like slowly drifting. So fingers crossed. I'm going to close my laptop. I'm going to sleep. Oh, I need to do my eye drops actually before I go to bed because if I don't do them this is going to get worse again and <laughs> we can't be doing with that. Okay I'll talk to you maybe tomorrow. Okay I'm all dressed and ready to go to my dad's 60th. I've got this dress on from Cotton On. It's a little bit like tighter than I would usually go but I'm trying to just embrace it all you know. We're staying home now, so the cart is packed so full, but it's going to be a good time. Whew.